I'm actually becoming a big fan of spiritual bypassing, but what I'm talking about is actually bypassing the spiritual stuff. So a lot of people might listen to my things and think, oh yeah, he's a spiritual dude. I don't know what the fuck that means anymore, to be honest. I've always been someone who uh, feels there's, there's more to life than what I know, um, but whether that makes me spiritual, I don't think so. I feel like spirituality is kind of a filler word for this like, unfortunately sometimes agnosticism about life and what we stand for it's like we use that word spiritual to say yeah i'm cool i'm connected i feel stuff and it's like yeah everyone is everyone is everyone feels stuff everyone's fucking connected and also everyone's attached right non-attachment let's talk about non-attachment i act as if i'm attached there's periods of time in my life when i would say that i'm not or i would want to wish that I wasn't, but I'm fucking attached. Like, there are things where if you take them from me, I'm going to fight you for them. And I, for so long, suppressed that side of me because I felt like a lot was kind of taken from me by circumstances outside of my control. And that led me into this kind of spiritual world of like letting go, non-attachment. It's all good, you know, equanimity. But the reality is that I wasn't non-attached. My body had needs, I had emotional needs, I had dreams and desires, and what I was doing behind this spiritual facade was actually just kind of creating an emptiness and running away from what I truly wanted, downgrading my dreams, denying myself the um, worthy struggle of pursuing something. That was all going on under the surface, but my conscious mind didn't know it because I'd created this identity as someone who could speak to spiritual truisms. In the meantime, there are dads working on job sites and there's people doing all kinds of jobs, working at Bunnings, the hardware store, who are just as spiritual, just as tapped in. What does spiritual mean? I guess it means warm and kind. Well, to be warm and kind means to accept the reality of the human attachments and then to reconcile that with a sense of perseverance, a sense of love, compassion, empathy. And we can't have these things without having something to direct them towards that we're attached to and we're separate from. So be wary of the spiritual stuff. Be wary of the spiritual practices. Keep it simple. Just think instead, how can I be a really, really useful human? And how can I be more kind to myself? I think that will serve you much better than worrying about the religions, the ancient texts, or fitting into some particular group.